Hello, my name is Ruxi, and I am back with a second Creative Fecundity video. In this video, I am sharing with you all the importance of connectivity to help us overcome the current virus crisis and to attain a sense of calm in our lives. If you look in our surroundings, such as in the environment behind me, you will find interdependencies. We see these interdependencies in the photosynthetic processes of plants. If you reflect on the photosynthetic processes, you will find that plants depend on sunlight that you can see behind me and water from rain nutrients from the earth that is on the ground where I am, and oxygen in the surrounding air to survive. In a similar fashion, we as humans need such interdependencies to live fulfilling and content lives. In order to do so, we need to reach out and empower all members of our communities to take heart and to be encouraged and really to find within themselves an inner confidence and strength to move ahead and prosper in their lives. For us to do so, we are, have connectivity. We already have connections that have been established through social media, email, phone, and other communication entities that will allow us to reach out and communicate with every person in our community to ensure that person's well-being and sense of safety during this time. To really find cures or treatments to alleviate the current illness, we need to connect with all members of our communities and really invite each person to provide suggestions and ideas for treatments or cures that have worked for them for similar symptoms to the symptoms of the current virus that we as a global society are facing. Uh, so, for example, you may have doctors and nurses who advise acidic fruits such as limes or lemons as combating bacterial infections. And so they might suggest for people to intake these acidic fruits um, as a treatment for the current virus that has overwhelmed our society. And then you might invite um, a tailor or dressmaker um, to contribute their ideas of uh, what has helped them recover from colds or flus, and they might suggest to add to the citric fruits vegetables such as eggplants or um, lettuce uh, in a type of salad that people should intake daily to, for nutrients to really drive the virus away. And then you might communicate with um, you may uh, find people who work in information technology and you might ask their ideas for how to 
really drive the virus away. And for them, they might find that hot chicken soup really helped them recover from similar symptoms of other viruses. So you might combine the previous acidic fruits, the vegetables, legumes, salad, and chicken soup together in a type of mixture for people who are currently in, in ill and currently in a state of um, uh, being unable to carry on with their lives uh, due to illness symptoms, uh, whether they are the virus itself or other types of ailments, um, such as the, the common cold, a flu, or another type of virus. So if you look at this, this connectivity uh, from people of different careers suggesting their remedies, you will be able to come up with various ideas, various treatments, and various cures that can help to chase this virus out of our society, help people recover more quickly, and carry on with their lives uh, towards a sense of prosperity and ease. So what creative fecundity we do is that we have um, uh, on the website, uh, there is a place for all of you to connect with one another called Creative Collaboration Forums. Uh, these forums were programmed by a current Binghamton University student, Benjamin Prizer, class of 2022 at Binghamton University. And the concept for these forums came about to help connect all of you across various careers, across different industries, small businesses, entrepreneurs, and uh, freelancers to connect with one another to solve the current problems and crises in our lives. And so you are all invited to the website Creative Fecundity, www.creativefecundity.com. The link is going to be in the description box below. And you are all invited to become members, to join these free forums, to connect with one another, and to really brainstorm different ideas by linking them together to come up with thorough solutions, uh, thorough remedies, um, and comprehensive, really comprehensive trails of, of ideas strung together that can really emanate into solutions as treatments and cures for the virus that has afflicted our entire society at local, national, and global levels. So I encourage all of you to visit and navigate uh, this website www.creativefecundity.com and start uh, connecting with people, become members of the Creative Collaboration Forums, uh, start posting uh, in which areas you need assistance and support, and share these resources with every member of your communities whom you can possibly connect with so that we can really inspire and expand a sense of optimism out there that we will all overcome this crisis and restore a sense of harmony and prosperity in our lives. I invite all of you to subscribe to this channel and share your comments 
and any ideas that you have as to how we can overcome the current crisis we are facing through such, such ideas like connectivity and interdependency and really, really come together to find answers and solutions to alleviate the suffering of our fellow humans, to come together to a place of contentment and ease. Thank you, and everyone keep healthy and safe out there.